So after the World of Warships video, I figuratively went over to the Wargaming offices in Emeryville, which in Bay Area terms means across the bridge. For like four miles that way, you would hit it. Propped my feet up on a desk and said, Pay me my money. <laughs> in cash. Cash. And they were like, wait, wait, we want you to make another video. And I was like, unless you want me to play World of Monster Trucks, I'm not sure I'm ready for World of Anything after playing World of Warships all week. So when they asked me if I would play World of Tanks on console, I would have ordinarily said no, but seeing as I recently overclocked my PC to the point that it basically broke itself in half from unsafe temperatures, I said, why the hell not? I can probably, man, oh my, no. What? Is that actually what it looks like? Oh, I guess that's just a mini game. False alarm, I'm sorry. But in the spirit of sponsorship disclosure. Yeah, I blew almost all of it on rollerblades, these new headphones, this backpack. I mean, I'm sure it is probably pretty hilarious that all you're gonna say, hey, you got all that money, but you didn't buy yourself a new shirt? No, I, this is the same shirt as the last video. As the white boys say on the internet, what? Those. So if you want more details about the game and the free stuff you can get by signing up, there's a link below. And by free stuff, I mean a Fox T7 tank, battle supplies, bonus XP, 100k silver, and 7 days of premium time. Also known as 1 week, or 168 hours, or 10,080 minutes, which is pretty damn long. And as always, they offer me that super duper press account to play with a trillion coins and everything unlocked, but I was like, Yo, f*** this press account, I don't need that sh so I started my own account from scratch and worked my way up from the bottom, meaning that I actually had to run small light tanks, which after running the giant tanks on PC, I barely even knew that these tiny tanks existed. It's almost like driving around the tank equivalent of an Uzi, because it's super mobile, super tiny, yet also terrifying. I thought these big bad tank destroyers were the best thing ever until I saw them getting styled on by these tiny little tanks that are swift, silent, and deadly. Of course you can select from the five different tank types of light, medium, and heavy, which I don't feel the need to explain, tank destroyers which don't have a rotating turret, and artillery. And although I'm not a fan of artillery, I do find it pretty hilarious that there's such a big difference between the action of firing artillery and watching it land. Like, watching artillery pop rounds off is pretty underwhelming. That was graceful. But once the shells actually make contact... Happy birthday to the if you really can't make up your mind, just go with the T-22 Proto, which they really should call the T-22 Potato because it's not at all appealing, it doesn't have any outstanding qualities, but if it's 3 a.m. and you're hungry but everything is closed and all that you have available in your fridge is a potato, well, f*** it, eat the potato. The console customizations are just weird. Like I ended up putting a Vietnamese flag on an American tank in French camouflage paired with a Velociraptor screaming the word laxative. Wow, you should play console more often, man. That's awesome. Yeah, you laugh now, but if you had the choice between buying laxative with a Velociraptor on the outside versus no Velociraptor at all, I think I know which one you would grab. And there's these Chinese inscriptions that get a little preachy, like every action has a reaction. Wait, is this a Chinese proverb, or is this Newton's third law of motion? Believe in victory, fight hardships, reach success? Uh... I got catalog, I got hit records, man. Another one. <laughs> no, another two. <laughs> and I was a little puzzled when it came to my commander. Like, just seeing his name cut off like that had me, uh... Is his name Willard Dump? Or Dumpler? Or Dump- Dumpling? Oh, it's Willard Dumpleton. Willard Dumpleton, okay. Wargaming also made a really subtle jab at the United States with one of its special upgrades called Case of Cola. Basically, the entire crew gets a 10% boost to all skills for a full round, but it can only be used by vehicles from the United States. As if the rest of the planet isn't already making fun of us for our new president, Wargaming has to throw shade with fat jokes. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number 
number six with extra dip. Speaking of which, one of the best players I saw was named Meat of Loaf, which given my experience with the Nicolas Cage movie Lord of War, I can only assume is short for Meat Loaf, much like Warlord, and Although I do want to say that the players on Xbox Live broke the stereotype of being small children with weed references as gamer tags, uh... Medium one octagon! I found it out! It's a medium one octagon! You will notice that if you play with lower tier tanks, you'll only play against garbage opponents that have no idea what they're doing to the point where I started killing 6 out of 7 enemy tanks each round and needed to turn off my HUD to intentionally make things more challenging. <laughs> I could basically just sit behind rocks, abuse third person, and pop out for double kills at my leisure. You can't really taunt your allies about how well you're doing, but you can throw up gigantic, obnoxious emotes for lack of a keyboard. And oh my god, the meaningless awards at the end of each round get progressively more intense as you rank up. Like, the first time you get them, they're not so bad. But then it gets a little worse. And then it just gets totally off the rails. I am the greatest! The announcer, weirdly enough, sounds like a mix between Stone Mountain 64 and Oscar Mike from Battleborn. And before you ask, there's no Animu weeb tie-in like World of Warships, which I found a little surprising. Like, not even Girls und Panzer? Oh, okay. The game is outstanding with the number of maps it has. Like, what, 70 maps? But it's just too bad that they're always being rained on. Just look at this. Mines. Rain. Malinovka. Rain. Wide Park. Rain. El Haloof. It's go rain! Given how dark and depressing so many of these maps are, it's like a gift from Santa Claus when you happen to get a snowy map, especially with this Christmas theme they've got going on. No matter what the map may be, just be sure that you do not get spotted, because once you do, the entire enemy team can see you, and it's definitely coming after you. Enemy's got us in their sights! Oh. Nerd. But an even more important piece of advice than that, learn how to penetrate. God, it's like 14. Sure, the light tank is unstoppable with the amount of rounds it can shell out at super speed, but it doesn't mean anything if none of them penetrate and you do zero damage. You can always make sure that you're hitting the right spot by viewing the tank's armor in the garage menu like this German mouse, which when color-coded looks like a layered fruitcake. And that's about it. Be sure to check out the info below if you want to play this game for yourself for free. And I'm really just still waiting on World of Monster Trucks to happen. Like, I would play that. Wouldn't you play that?